Okay, we're going to take a quick look at uh, some examples of long division and then a couple of practice exercises. This is the top end, bottom out. All right, so there are some things that you should already know. Here we see uh, an illustration of a uh, one inch on a ruler and the one quarter inch, the fractional form of one quarter inch is, is shown there. And you should already know that that's 0 0.25. And that, by the way, if you move the decimal two places, you wind up with 25%. So you should already know that. We have the top end, the top number, and the bottom end. The top number called the numerator, the bottom number called the denominator. So fits like this. Uh, this fractional form right here can be rewritten to equal this fractional form, or this form of long division right here. And so we have the top end, bottom out. So the denominator goes on the outside, and the numerator goes on the inside. So we'll take a look at what we have here. That again is the top, that's the bottom. And it works like this. We know that 4 will not go into 1, so the answer is going to have to be smaller than 1, so we'll have to add a 0 and a decimal. And so then we come over here and we add a 0, and 2 times 4 is 8. We subtract the 8 from the 10, we wind up with 2. We know that 4 won't go into 2, so we add a 0, and 5 times 4 is 20. We subtract the 20 and we wind up with 0. So the answer that we got is 0 0.25, or 25% if we move the decimal two places. All right, there we see the whole thing again illustrated on the, uh, the one inch ruler. We'll take a look at another example. We have the 1 half. You should already know that 1 half is equal to 0 0.5, and that's 50% of an inch. So we'll take a look at that in long division form. 2 will not go into 1, so we add a 0 and a decimal. We stick in a, ten, a 0, excuse me, and uh, 5 times 2 is 10. We subtract the 10, we wind up with 0, we've terminated, we're finished. There's nothing more we can do, we've solved the problem. All right, looks like this, or on the ruler, it looks like that. You can always watch this again if I'm going too fast. All right, another example. We'll take a look at 7 sixteenths, the fractional form of 7 sixteenths. Each one of these little marks is a sixteenth because there are 16 of them between the 0 mark and the 1 inch. So. All right, we know that, uh, or you don't know, this is not something you probably carry around in your head, 0 0.4375 or 43.75%. Okay, we'll take a look at that in its division form. Looks like this, 16 will not go into 7, so we have to add a 0 and a decimal. We add a 0, 4 times 16 is 64. We subtract that, we wind up with 6. We have to add a 0, four time, or 3 times 16 is 48. We subtract that, we wind up with 12. 16 will not go into 12, we add a 0, and 7 times 16 is 112. 112 uh, subtracted from 120 is 8, we add a 0, we, 5 times 16 is 80, we subtract the 80, and we wind up with 0. We've terminated, that's as far as we can go. So the answer is 7 sixteenths is equal to 0 0.4375, or 43.75 percent. Let's take a look at another example. We have 7 eighths shown here on the ruler, and that's equal to 0 0.875 or 87.5 percent. Doing the long division form, 8 will not go into 7, so we have to add a 0 and a decimal. We add a 0. 8 times 8 is 64. We subtract that. We wind up with 6. Add a 0. 7 times 8 is 56. We subtract that. We wind up with 4. 8 will not go into 4, so we add a 0, and 5 times 8 is 40, so we subtract that, it terminates, we're finished. All right, looks like this, there we go. Now we're going to do a little practice, so what you're going to do is I'm going to show you a problem, you click on the stop sign, you try to solve it yourself, you click on the green sign, or the go sign, to see if you got the answer right. 1 eighth, click on the stop sign. 3 eighths, click on the stop sign. 10 sixteenths, there's no stop sign. Think about it. 10 sixteenths can uh, be simplified to 5 eighths. 15 sixteenths. If you're getting these correct, it's not possible to make a fraction so difficult that you can't solve it. If you're not getting these right, then you need to get to, you, you need to get some help. See your instructor. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are always welcome, encouraged, and appreciated. You can write to me at alanmorris at yahoo.com.